Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're going to look at how to create your first .NET MAUI app. If you haven't heard of .NET MAUI, I'm just going to do a quick TLDR, but I have a full video that I talk about it. So make sure to check that one down below in the description and up here in the card. So basically .NET MAUI is for when you have to create a native application for Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android, you usually have to create them in each one of those platforms and you can't reuse code because they use different frameworks and they use everything. So Microsoft came and decided to do this framework that is supposed to work with the same core code. And then you might change a little bit of the things for whatever the platform is. First thing you have to have is Visual Studio 2022. You can have whatever you want. I use the community right now it's in preview and in like a month it will be GA. So it's stable enough. I've been using the preview for a while now. One thing you have to have is you have to have the ASP.NET and web development package installed. Then you have to have these five pack, sorry, these four packages. So mobile development with .NET, .NET desktop development, universal windows platform development and desktop development with C++. And lastly, you have to have the .NET MAUI extension here. So you'll have to expand the mobile development with .NET and then click .NET MAUI. Then you're going to click install. I already have them, so I don't have to install them again. And then the next thing you have to do is install the single project MSIX packaging tools for Visual Studio 2022. This is for uh, packaging it in Windows. This video, we're going to do the packaging Windows. If you want to see creating it for Mac and everything, let me know in the comments and I'll create videos for those. Before you download it, you just have to see this comment, which is really funny. It says, I got all my steps in today because creating a Maui app requires thousands of them. I thought it was pretty funny. So then you download that, you install it, and then you open your Visual Studio. And you create a new project and in here you'll see it. And if you don't see it, you can search for it. But .NET MAUI Blazor app, there is a .NET MAUI app. I'm just going to use the Blazor app because it's very similar to Blazor. And I like Blazor as if you haven't seen my videos. So we're just going to use the Blazor, but you can use either one. And then in here you create the name that you want, where you want to save it. And then you click create. This will open a project that has your MAUI application. And in here by default, it goes to Android emulator. Right now they have the Windows one uh, commented out. So you basically have to uncomment that line in the CS project file. So you just click on it and do control K, control U, and it will uncomment the line. So then here you can change it to, to Windows. Then just do a quick rundown of the project. So basically it's kind of like a Blazor application. So you have your pages. And here's where it's specific. So if you're doing something specific for Mac, uh, for Windows, you would put in the Windows file, same for Mac, iOS, or Android. And then you have kind of like your resources where you put your pictures and everything. And then here, this is just because it, it literally runs like a Blazor application. So you have your index.html, you have your Razor pages and everything. So then after that, you can run it. And when you run it, you get the regular Blazor application. And here you have the counter, you have everything. And you can just program it like if it was like a Blazor application, but you have access to the native commands inside Windows or Mac or whatever platform you're doing. So this is the intro for .NET MAUI. Let me know what you guys think, if you're going to use it, and if you want me to cover anything else on it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.